Hi guys, it's MJ and in this video I want to talk to you guys about a crowdfunding campaign that we're doing to try to put the dog coin on a Formula One car. So this was actually the, the inspiration behind the car was the old, well it was like a McLaren concept. Um, we decided to take the dog coin Formula One design uh, and use those colors um, and put these things in various places. And that's actually how we got the, got the car. But what I want to show you now is a little bit more about the game and the racetrack. So this was a design for, for the racetrack. You can see these things just show the direction you're going. These are the cones that will slow you down. These little green rings are the coins you'll collect. And the blue stars are the bones that will make your car go faster. But what are we interested in? We are interested in the actual game. Um, I'm not going to go through all the all the code that, that Nick has written for us. Instead, I'm going to just show it to you. So let me get a chat in on the screen. Um, so I mean, here you, we can have quite a nice little little look around at, at the game, um, you know, what it looks like from the game designer's point of view. Uh, you know, can, oops, I zoomed in way too much there. Click on the various assets and, and all these things. But let's actually play the game. Let's let's see the game in action. So let me click play here and let's race the dog coin. So in order to move, you would swipe um, in the app. Whoops, I'm going off the track there. Whoa, I'm driving terribly. Hold on, let me let me concentrate. So you collect the dog coins, um, get the bones to go quicker. So let me get a few bones. Let me pick up some speed. And if you hit the cones, you go slower. So it's all about trying to dodge them. Oh, I hit that one again. And then get the coins. It goes, wow, it's pretty cool. I'm running out of energy though. So wait, wait, hold on. Yep, turning around the corner. Get the, oh, I missed the bone. I missed the bone. Um, and yeah, so this is the car here. I mean, you can drive off the track if you want to be an absolute tool, like I'm doing right now. Um, I don't think, oh, oh, jeez, okay, I crashed the car, <laughs> which is not recommended, but this would be like the game menu, um, with the app it looks better, it's because it's all condensed and stuff like that, um, you can click here to go to the website to, to check out the whole donation thing, um, I'm going to click play again, because this actually gets quite addictive, is me, oh, oh, where am I going, where am I going, okay, so, oh, I'm, I'm actually shocking at this game. You can see why they haven't got me driving the car. Uh, <laughs> but wait, I'm getting the little dog coins. Um, in future updates, and I mean this would be really cool, is that the dog coins you collect in the game, you then give us your dog coin address and we then send you the actual coins. That would be that would be pretty awesome. We might do that in an update. Hold on, I need to get the bone, sure, in order to continue my driving experience. Um, yeah, like I said, the more bones you get, the quicker you go. Um, but yeah, I am, oh, I didn't even try to block that. And no, oh no, I've run out of energy. No, oh, so close. Okay, and uh, <laughs> so this is going to be the app. Um, like I said, there's going to be links in the description. Just go click and, and download. Um, but yeah, Nick's done an absolutely amazing job with the game. Um, Allison's designed the car. You know, just looking at those that little picture I sent her, I was like, do this and she's made something absolutely amazing so yeah I mean if you guys love the game we're gonna put in maybe some more tracks maybe add in other cars so you have to race other ones I mean the sky is the limit for us so we hope you do support us um, in bringing yeah I mean our journey as you can see is on the side there it's to yeah bring the dog to Africa or dog uh, yeah bring it to Africa it's the perfect cryptocurrency for our continent so yeah Thank you very much for, for supporting us. And I mean, a very important thing for us was that you come to the internet and you tell them that you have a bunch of Formula One cars and they're not going to believe you. So what we thought we would do in order to gain credibility or show people that we, we actually mean business, um, I actually went and we, we got one sticker made and we've decided to put that on the car as is now. So this is just to show you guys that we are being dead serious. We have access to these cars and you can't Photoshop this. I mean, if, if this is a fake video, then we're dealing with quite, um, quite hectic software. So this is just to show you 
we do have access to the cars and the whole point of the crowdfunding is that if we raise our target we can address the entire car up as we saw in those earlier designs so the whole car is going to be wrapped up um, in the dog coin branding and we feel that this is going to be the best way to raise awareness but now i just want to show you a quick clip on what Afrix Motorsport is all about. So let's turn over to Dan Clark. Hi, I'm Dan Clark, and I had the honor of being the driver of the Great Britain car in the 2009 A1 GP series. And here we have the car that I raced. This was at Brands Hatch. And the terrible thing about that is this car and all the A1 GP cars have not been driven since that race in 2009 at Brands Hatch. But now we're at Pekisa Freeway, and we have the Afrix race car. What's perfect for driving here at Pekisa is all the turns are very long, very high speed. And this car loves nothing more than high speed with all the aero downforce and grip that it has. What's even better about driving these cars again is that we actually have some improvements. We're now running the Cooper race tire. This gives us even more traction in all the turns. And we also have an updated electronic management system. So there's refinement in the shifting, but also we're able to extract even more power from the Ferrari engine. If you want, you guys can buy the little cell phone cases. I mean, we've even made uh, some t-shirts available. Um, various ways that you can donate to the whole project. I mean, the best way is just to send us DogCoin to our, our DogCoin address. And I'm going to put all these details in the description below. So go, sh go and check that out. And we've also got a website called dogpre.co.za. And you can go read up more about us. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Cheers.